Yo, excuse the noise. I'm out here at the mining headquarters of the freaking world. All right, uh, we're gonna be looking at a new little mini miner, mining at home. That's what this thing's built for. And we're gonna be talking about this guy. Kabam! You haven't seen a gold shell miner in a while. Well, this is the Mini Doge 3. How much does it earn? How much does it burn? And is this the best little miner that you definitely want? I'm gonna give you the good, bad, the ugly, the specs in the real world mining profitability on this little guy. Uh, as you notice, it's small. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get behind the computer here in a second. So I, again, I apologize for the noise, but I, I can't turn these off right now. The, it, it's time to get it while you can. Uh, so in here, I'm stealing some space because I'm working on expanding my mining capacity here at the farm. So I got a couple miners in here on the shelf. Uh, what's really nice about this is the low power draw and just needs two PCIe connections. And what's interesting is this model is stripped down. It does not, I repeat, it does not have Wi-Fi support. This should be the intake side as well. And I got a power supply that hasn't been doing too much recently. It's good old thermal take. He's RGB. So is this miner. Right now, I'm not only at capacity across the mining farm, you know, like I'm using up all the electricity I've wired. That's also true for Boss Queen HQ, uh, which we've also called the field building here out on the channel. Uh, and over the last year, you may have noticed, you know, we've been building the building. We've been building the mining farm. And to put it simply, it's just been a super unique endeavor. So let's plug this in. This may not be the prettiest thing today, but we need to get this thing up and running. I'll have you know, this is more difficult to do with one hand. Now we need two PCIe connections. Uh, we've got a couple cables here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and run one cable to each. Uh, these have been plugged in. That one was a little loose. That one was a little loose too. That was also a little loose. That one's fine. I know this is off because I know this is an RGB model and it's not glowing. So let's get it plugged in. Kuchet, kuchet. And of course, I need an ethernet cable. <laughs> got it. RGB, got a little fan spin. Let's try to block less of that airflow. It's not ideal, but whatever. Interesting to see we got green power, blue system, red LED, an additional red LED up there, uh, unlike their other models. And a little funny thing is they do dog three or basically doge up here uh, in their serial number. Airflow coming out the back. Okay, so now I'm gonna head over to the Boss Queen field office that we've got set up right now, which also doubles as the hard drive mining shed. Wow. How do I look? And uh, get my pool information in there and get this thing not just mining, but mining to my address. A small, cheap, profitable, quiet, ASIC mining rig, right? At a glance, what's not to love? It mines two cryptocurrencies in the top 20 of all cryptocurrencies when ranked by coin market cap. It costs about 600 bucks. It's a more accessible price point than thousands of dollars that some other miners cost. I truly believe that mining, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies is the best way to earn passive income. As always, you do whatever you wanna do, but I personally put my money where my mouth is, and that's why we've not only just made videos on Voscoin, but we've been building the Voscoin mining farm. So, with that said, let's look at the Gold Shell Mini Doge 3, which could be one of the best miners for small scale miners, a pilot experiment, right? A hobby, and just small form factor mining, okay? But it's not all golden. Okay, so stick with me on this one. Two modes. 
650 mega hash a second, and then 500 mega hash a second between the default hash rate mode and the low power mode, consuming 400 watts and 260 watts respectively. You can see that the efficiency goes up by about 15%. If you're a longtime subscriber of the Vosquin YouTube channel, which means you either say yes and you're awesome, or you say no, you're not cool, well, uh, then you may know that we have collaborated with Goldshell before to release a few different miners. And the most popular one that we collaborated on was the Mini Doge miner featuring Tails. Uh, Tails is our Shiba Inu, our Doge. Got her before I got into cryptocurrency, so your boy's no clout chaser, it's just called Destiny. And uh, these were really fun miners at a great time. And for their form factor, they made impressive returns. But the market was much hotter a few years ago when those came out in particular. But I do want to credit Gold Shell, even though they never paid us affiliate earnings they owe us. Let's address that too. I'm not here to push gear on you. I appreciate if you use our links and support the channel. But more importantly, I want you to use the code VOSCOIN to save some coin at any places that support that gold shell is not one but it was an interesting view into their character as a company disappointing nonetheless but maybe you don't care about that drama so we'll just move forward i do really like and appreciate the fact that gold shell makes the box series i wish that all the other manufacturers would make small form factor miners and uh there is actually a major miner manufacturer that is releasing a small form factor miner uh, for the first time so stay tuned to the channel. That's going to be pretty cool too. You go over to the shop and you can see different models, different prices in stock, except for the latest one, which they're trying to generate a lot of buzz for. Imagine that. Uh, so where do you get one right now if you really want one and how much does it earn and all that stuff, right? Uh, so we got ours from ASIC Marketplace. Thank you to ASIC Marketplace for supporting the channel. Uh, they've been great to work with code boss coin to save some coin over there they have these miners in stock i did not get hit with any tariffs or taxes when i received this for whatever that's worth to you uh yes it is more expensive than if you buy directly from gold shell but they're sold out so keep checking the gold shell site if you want to order one or grab one here if you want to order one i'll link both in the video description below so let's check out the performance this is my mini doge 3 here on f2 pool looking at my revenue, right? How much is this thing earning? Uh, so a couple of my other miners failed over to this mining pool for a bit and kind of bumped up my hash rate per day. Uh, so if we look at this miner, it's supposed to be doing about 0.6 giga hash a second, right? 600 mega hash is 0.6 giga hash. 1000 mega hash is, you know, it's the measure of, you know, the mining power of these little, you know, ASIC miners, these application specific integrated circuit miners. These are purpose built machines and hash is a measure of their basically power, like a car has horsepower. So it's supposed to be doing about 0.6. So we'll just take it at 0.6 on face value. I messed up the data a little bit, but whatever. I can't stress about everything all the time. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take about 66% of the coin earned here. So we're gonna say it's about 15 doge, and then we're going to take two thirds of that. So 10 doge. I am impressed with some of the reported earnings uh, on NiceHash in particular with Script. NiceHash isn't the sponsor today or anything like that. Uh, I mainly have been using NiceHash a lot lately. Uh, to use my Casper miners and get paid out in Bitcoin. But I mean, these returns are interesting and crazy. So what do these numbers equate to? 0 0.0025 Litecoin, uh, and let's just double check that real quick, right? Yeah, that, that seems about right. Uh, we can even be more generous. Let, let's go ahead and, and bump this up to 0 0.3. Uh, that would be a whopping 20 cents uh, return. And so I said 15 Dogecoin and we punch in 10 Doge, that would be two thirds of that hash rate. Uh, we would be earning about a dollar. So I earned about a dollar 20 on this. Uh, this is supposed to reportedly make $3 a day and burn at about $1.15 at a 10 cent per kilowatt hour electricity rate. Uh, so really I've only broken even running this device uh, currently. And again, I'm on the hash rate mode. I guess it's supposed to be 650, which it would be a little bit higher. Let, let's even take these numbers right at, at face value. If we go all the way up to like 0 0.004 Litecoin, it's 30 cents. We go up to 15 Doge, it's $1.45. And understand that that would be with a scoring hash rate higher than this miner can perform. No, these earnings are not 
impressive right now. So I just remoted it into my mining farm. Let's look at the performance from the dashboard here. We're getting 0.5% hardware errors. We're getting 0.10% rejections. Uh, nothing really unusual here. Running at 73 degrees Celsius, averaging 661 mega hash a second, fan spinning at 1,800 revolutions per minute. So let's enable the low power mode to increase the efficiency here. Click apply, let's click over here, and let's go ahead and force a restart on this miner. Uh, so, you know, if, if we're barely breaking even, we might as well bump this thing down to a more efficient setting here. At a glance, the performance here, you know, it's fine, right? It works out of the box, simple enough. I just don't see like why you would buy this. These are higher than average earnings. But the L7 is, you know, reportedly making over 20 bucks a day. Let's look at some of my historical data on that. So I'm going to break it down to the script mining algorithm, which is the same mining algorithm that Dogecoin and Litecoin are merge mined on. So you're, you're by, by default, you normally are automatically mining Litecoin and Dogecoin at the same time uh, with script miners. And the mini Doge 3 is just a very small script ASIC miner, you know, that script is the mining algorithm for those cryptocurrencies. So those two miners over the last 24 hours have earned $66. That's $33 per miner. That's pretty impressive. Let's get a, a bigger average. So this is very good still and more realistic earning over $41. And we can see these spikes uh, in the past few days. Dogecoin and Litecoin put, a, put out a lot of money per day. They put out 1.3 million on Dogecoin and then about 225,000 on Litecoin. These are pretty typical emission uh, data charts. They are trading blows with uh, Caspa for being combined the second most profitable coin to be mining when ranked by the daily emission there. So I know that L7 miners are sold out at Bitmain right now let's look at the l7 on asic marketplace they've got two different models here so we look at the cheaper model uh and it, you know it's sitting here at like five grand five grand four thousand six hundred but sold out so let's just call you know five five grand right uh so if, if we take these numbers if we really wanted to buy a miner today and i'm going to tell you at the end of the video why you don't want either of these miners um uh, if we wanted this one right and let's say we're making 20 bucks a day. It take you 250 days to break even. Uh, I mean, I'm making like 10 cents, okay, on, on my mini Doge 3. Uh, so let's just take 1,000 days, okay, and I'll earn $100 on that thing. The performance, you know, maybe I'm just having bad luck, a bad experience or something, or F2 pool just pays garbage. I don't know, any way you look at it, it just doesn't add up. I can earn a hundred bucks over the next thousand days after I pay my electricity bill, or I can earn $5,000 in 250 days. But you say, you may say, oh, oh, but Bosk, you didn't factor in the power consumption here. That's true. This thing cost me a little bit less than $8 a day to run. Let's just call it eight for a nice even number uh, on, on the high side. So, you know, realistically, I'm pulling 12 bucks a day if, I'm, if the mining pool says I'm, I'm raking in $20 a day. Let's go $720. $8,640 over the next 720 days after I pay the electricity bill and I'm mining two cryptocurrencies that, to be frank, will obviously go up in a crypto bull run as they have always historically, not financial advice, right? As we like to say here. But here's the deal. This miner is very old. The L7 is, I mean, it's very old. Uh, so do not buy one. Bitmain is going to drop the L9 any moment now. It's probably going to have twice the hash rate and have the same power consumption, making it twice as efficient and that much better. That will continue to put pressure on the mini Doge miners to the point, you know, that they will continue to probably tread water even if the market ticks up. Uh, I mean, you know, who knows, right? Nobody really knows. We just make the best guesses we can all the time with the data we have. Let's take a step back here and compare the efficiency of the mini Doge 3 versus the L7, okay? Uh, so when, when you look at these numbers, right, we have, let's say 8,800 giga hash a second and we're consuming 3,400 watts for 8,800 giga hash second divided by 3,400, uh, you know, we're at 2.6, let's call it. All right, and then if we have 500 mega hash a second 
consuming 260 we're at 1.9 uh so that means that the mini doge 3 is a more efficient mining rig than the l7 it's consuming that many less watts per mega hash mining these cryptocurrencies and gold shell who has zero leading efficiency miners right now you think that they have beaten bitmain who's been sitting on their l7 for literally over two years since its official release you think that bitmain doesn't have something better in their pocket and there's not these other competitors that are popping up saying that they've got something even better than bitmain coming soon too by three four five x efficiency as always you do whatever you want to do but the mini doge 3 just does not make sense uh other than for fun you think it's cool your collector hobby gift talking point thing on your desk um i mean if i was gonna drop 600 bucks on a miner i'd be buying a k0 pro personally so hey that's my review it's not all peaches and rainbows but that's the way it goes sometimes gold shell you gotta make a better mining rig than this my name's Vosk, you're on the Vosk on YouTube channel where I keep it real, and we always run 10 seconds of tales. You could say that she's the CMDO here, she's the Voscoin Chief Mini Doge Officer. She's never going out of style, so hey, maybe you think Mini Doges are cute. I know mine is. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one.